Hello everyone, this is Silver SM here. I will be uh, giving a tutorial on the basics of how to animate. Um, the first thing I want to do is show you guys how to get a normal Minecraft save and uh, put it to an animation software uh, like Blender. So I'm going to log in to Minecraft. Go to single player, I'll just I'll go on a random save. Alright. I'm on this random world. I'll go to creative. I'm just gonna build a little area. So I know where the spot is. Alright, now I will uh, save and quit. I'll go ahead and exit out of Minecraft. I'll go to Mineways, which um, for some computers like Macs and stuff, it doesn't really work. And there's uh, this thing called, um, I think it's like MC Edit or something like that. Um, people say that that works just as fine, but I find it a little more uh, complicating. So, um, uh, this is to Velocibadger if you just want to. Um, like make the world files and just send it to me, I'll put it in an OBJ file and send it back to you. Um, that's fine. But uh, I'll show you how to do it anyway. You go to File, you go to Open World, and it goes straight to your uh, .minecraft saves. And we were in the title graphic, so we're going to open that up. And here's our world. It will... There we go. Um, I'm going to try to look for where we were. Hmm. Or maybe not. Can't really find it. Huh. That's weird. Hmm. Well, I guess I'll just get a random tree or something. So, when you find your, uh, um, area that you want, like say I want to get this part, you're going to right click and drag and you'll see a little square or little, yeah, a little box and you highlight, um, just get pencil, uh, you highlight whatever you want, uh, to be in your animation. I'll just get a small little chunk. Alright, then the next thing you do, uh, you can modify the height, the, like the lowest point uh, that you want and the highest point you want. I'm just going to leave it at de default, I don't really need it that deep. Unless you're going underground, you know, like in tunnels and stuff in your animation, you're not going to really need it that deep. So if I were you, I would just keep it just right here, 84 and uh, 255. Um, but yeah. Um, the next thing you're going to do is go to File, going to go to uh, Select Terrain. And this is basically the texture uh, for your animation. You can just have it as the default Minecraft, um, but sometimes that's a little boring. So what I like to do is I like it, ah, I go to the uh, LB Photo Realism texture pack. I click Open, and then you export it for rendering. All right, and then uh, it'll pull up. You can save it wherever I have my Mindways folder that I save it to. You can name it wherever I'm, or whatever. I'm just going to name it Test, and um, it'll automatically have uh, .obj, and then you click Save. And um, this is basically just telling you all the, just going into farther depth of all the different little uh, settings and everything. Just click OK. You don't have to worry about that. Um, some people might want to change it up, but I wouldn't if I were you. Alright, and now we are done with that. Next you want to open up your animation program. Uh, Blender is free and easy to work with, so I prefer that. But um, 
As for my f friend uh, Velocibadger, his computer is really crappy and it can't handle Blender, so he uses uh, this program, which is called Illusion Madge. Um, nothing I would really suggest, or, uh, requ uh, I can't talk. Um, I wouldn't, uh, recommend this, but, um, it's, it's got most of the features of Blender, um, but it kind of looks like the, well, one of the older versions of Blender, so, you know, whatever. But, uh, this is kind of the only one that work that works with Velocibadger's computer, so I'm gonna show you how to do it in Blender and in Illusion Match. So first, uh, I'll do it in Blender. I'm going to delete the default, the default cube. You have your little world right here, your camera, and your uh, little sun, your little lamp. Um, you're going to click on, uh, go to File, go to Import, uh, Wavefront.obj, click that. And then you go, you navigate through where you saved your .obj file. I saved it in Mindways. It was test, test.obj. You click import obj. And, wow, what the heck? Is that seriously the only thing? Alright, I'm going to choose a different one. Um, I'll do forest. Ooh. Um, some big files may crash your blender, um, or anim animation thing. Um, this isn't too big. But yeah, it seems to, it seems like it loaded pretty fast, you know? Um, it blacked out for a quick second, but it wasn't that bad. Alright, well you got your world. Uh, tons of trees and water and stuff, just a random forest I got. Um, right now it's in solid mode. If you go to texture, it will put on the uh, texture pack for you. And uh, yeah, there it is. Looks pretty awesome. But when you're animating, you probably don't want the texture on because it'll lag the heck out of your computer. Um, so uh, go ahead and just keep it on solid. Oh, I just flipped it upside down. Come on. There we go. Let's uh, flip that right side up. Or just go with that. Um, a quick little thing, I just uh, went straight to my camera. To do that, uh, on your keyboard, on your number pad, um, you can click any of the numbers. Not the numbers that are above the, like, the alphabet keys, you know, the actual letters but the ones that are in the actual number pad up over to the right, if you click zero, it goes straight to your camera view, and uh, it shows what the camera's looking at, obviously. If you click zero again, it puts you back where you were. Um, and like two, eight, set, uh, four, six, you know, different things move the camera around different ways. So now I'm going to show you how to do the same thing, except for in Illusion Match. Alright, so I'm going to go to Illusion Match. Uh, go to File, Import, Wavefront.obj, same as last time. Um, click this little like uh, this little arrow down here. Click to wherever you saved it. I saved it to the desktop in my Blender animation file. Alright, and then we'll go to... What was it? Forest? Let's go to something a little smaller. I'll go to the title. Click import. And here we have our save. Really tiny. You can change the uh, size if you want by clicking... You have to highlight this and then click S. And move it around. Make it a little bigger. Go into our camera view. And also, if you're really far away or, like, not focused onto this or something, you can always click on this, click the period button, and it'll, I didn't really do that much, but, um, hold on. You click on an object, click the period, and it zooms into that object, whatever's highlighted. And if I want to do this one, click period, and bam.
doesn't really zoom in, but it focuses on this. But yeah, you got your uh, textures. Which we'll load in a second. There we go. The texture. Go back to solid. And, um, yeah. That's kind of it. Um, one thing in, uh, Blender. Oops, I didn't just shade it. Oh well. Uh, one thing in Blender. Uh, I'm using Blender because I don't have much experience with Illusion Match, and I don't really want to. It's kind of confusing and old and outdated and everything. But, um, when you open up your OBJ file, go to title, import, Alright, um, you get your world, and um, if you go to the camera, right now it's just looking at the ocean right now, so um, what you want to do if you want to move the camera, you highlight the camera by right clicking on this little frame, and you click G, and move your cursor to wherever you want the camera to be. Um, oops. And whenever you want it to be in a certain spot, you left click. And there you go. And, um, to see, or to, uh, see if this is like the, the texture is good and everything, you click, uh, F11 to, uh, oh, that didn't really work, did it? Okay. I like to go to F12, which renders it as an image. Um, and while that's rendering, it basically shows you the final product of what it's going to look like at the end. And uh, believe it or not, this is the final product. It's really black and you can hardly see anything. So uh, we're going to hit escape and uh, we'll click off of this. And you can uh, rotate and stuff by holding your uh, middle scroll button on your mouse and uh, as you can see your lamp is over here hidden in one of the trees so um, you want to give it a little lighting and um, you can use sun but uh, for the sake of the video I am going to add a different lamp I will be adding a hemisphere or a hemi I guess that stands for hemisphere maybe I don't know maybe not I just said hemisphere because I want to um, oops, do not want to do that. Uh, you lift it up, hemisphere, or, jeez, hemi, uh, basically just shows just a, a wide range of light and, uh, color and everything. It's just good for this, what we're doing. So, um, I'm gonna hit F12. It's gonna render a bit. And, uh, bam, it looks a hundred times better than last time. Last time we couldn't even see anything. So, uh, yeah, you definitely need a light. That, that really helps.